Bonjourno. Zai Lucifer again? A bad. How are you doing? A little bit too much wired, okay? Can't get enough of the stuff. Anyway, I thought I'd share with you a little story about how people get me and this particular angel mixed up. There's another angel, God angel, if you will, called Samuel. Yes. Now, me and Samuel are not the same person. You can clearly see this. I am an arch... No, I'm not an archangel. What am I saying? Too much wine. I am a seraphim. Top of all seraphim. You see, I was punished for wanting to be more. Now, this is the story of Samuel. Okay. Samuel is a god angel. He's an angel of a rank above all other angels, including me. He's above me as well. Sadly, I tried to reach the reach of heights, but didn't quite get there. It was cut down by my brother. But anyway, that's a separate story. Ugh. Pardon me. Anyway, Samuel. He. Identifying features. He is an angel with 12 wings. His body is covered in eyeballs. He's frightful to the eye. Very scary. Kind of resembles a demon. Though he dwells in seventh heaven. This particular angel tried to overthrow God. Now, his main objective is to corrupt the hearts of man and make them believe there is no God. Not only that, but he wants everyone to believe that he is God. Now, he is one of the biggest angels. He is so big, it would take you 500 years to cover his entire body, from foot to crown. Now, one of the most notable things he did is when Lilith became a demon, is he took her in. And they created the first batch of demons in hell. It was abusive, sir. He hated everything, everyone. He didn't even like Lilith. He just used her to create more offspring. Defiance against God, you see. It's kind of like his punchline to a joke. This is your first creative lady, and I just defiled her. Ha ha. Filthy, bleed creature. Anyway, that didn't go too well. So, instead of being banished from heaven like he should have been, he was left alone in seventh heaven. He wanted to rule fifth heaven, but he exists in both realms. Right. Well, anyway, he's devious. He steals the souls of man. He is known as the angel of death. And he's positively evil, as well as good. Whereas I, I'm not evil. I wanted simply to do my part. I just wanted recognition for it. And so for my transgressions, I was cast into hell. 
but to a good avail. You see, I am the only angel that can control the demons in hell. After Samuel and Lilith created their offspring and created all the demons in hell, they needed a warden. Somebody who could keep them all in line. And who better than the most proudest of angels? To me, basically. And I battled Samuel for Lilith's love. Lilith's battle lasted a hundred years. And I won. I used the Morning Star, the sword I used against my brother Michael. Though I lost Michael, I defeated Samuel. He still exists though, he still around, he's up there in Seven Heaven, lolling it up. I'm having a fabulous time here in hell. See, I gained more powers when I came here. I got everything I wanted. Except, obviously, the love for my father, Yahweh. So, in essence, I had to basically dwell down here. I proved to Lilith that I was equal to her. She was equal to me. And that is it. That's the basic story. So, don't be mistaken next time between me and Samuel because we are two different people. Very, very different people. I'm not a bastard like he is. I hope you enjoy my story. I think I'm going to go before I fall on my face. I hope you enjoyed my story, and I hope it cleared up some, uh, you know, questions in your mind. Anyway, I'm sure you'll have another one of these chats in the future. Until then, bye bye.